up black windows when she go down You must be crazy if you think that I'ma slow down Don't wanna hear it talking shit, fuck the drama I'm coming up and send you to your mama Mr. Whip, 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 in the gun time Drop the body Hey everyone, as always, welcome back to the channel Being a fine figure here And today we are gonna be celebrating 85 years of Marvel With the Astonishing X-Men's Wolverine Which possibly could be, in my opinion The best Wolverine out there and I know we probably said it by with many others, the uh, X-Men 97 or the X-Men, I don't know, whatever. But this one just looks so freaking awesome inside the box. Nice new packaging, condensed packaging. Uh, nice image there of the astonishing one there. Uh, another image there. Uh, it's got accessories, it's got extra hands, it's got extra fingers, it's got a pointy fingers, he's got it all. Um, so... Without further ado, as we do here on the channel, I am going to get this figure unboxed and I will be right back. All right, now that the figure is unboxed, we will quickly go over the accessories because I can't wait to start messing around with the Wolverine himself. So he does come with extra hands. He comes with, uh, obviously, the claw hands. He does come with a fist with no claws, which is good. It's always good. And then he has a finger pointing hand. Like I said before, don't know why Wolverine would need a finger pointing hand, but hey, I'll take it. It's extra accessories for a cheap price. And then he has the open hand, which is basically the Captain America shield throwing hand that um, that comes with the Captain America and the US agents and, and figures like that. Um, so it's actually uh, it's nice, I guess. You can, I don't know, you can do a, 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 I don't know, you can post it around like, uh, he's about, I don't know, or maybe you can just get some of those little mini beers or something and uh, I don't know, whatever. Uh, I don't know why Wolverine would need an open hand. And anyway, and then of course he does come with two heads, the one that's on the figure itself and the masked head, which I think it's great. I like the fact that the this piece here is not over exaggerated. I know it works well with the X-Men 97 because of the cartoon and stuff, but for a normal, regular uh costume i guess for a superhero that actually looks pretty good it's uh, it's nice i mean they did it it's very nice condensed mice has a little of a uh, paint blemish there uh, so you can pretty much tell that the whole head is orange uh, yellow but they just uh, missed a little touch it could have been from the plastic or the packaging or whatever but it's a simple fix so i'll just touch that up but that's a nice looking face that is a nice mean face i wish we could have got another additional uh, screaming head would have been great again i'm not a fan of screaming heads when it comes to certain figures but wolverine you know figures like that it works for them so um again the details on it i mean it's got a little texture to it i don't know if you can see uh, the painting there has like a little light texture on the that part there on the horns i call them um, but it's nice now on to the figure let's move on to the side and we will try that alternate head later on the figure is great. Now, right off the bat, I'm a little, a little a tiny pissed off because this piece came right off uh, one of the claws, but I'll just end up uh, gluing it in there so it doesn't come loose because that piece will eventually uh, not go in. So I'm being lightly with it. Um, but yeah, uh, as soon as I took it off, it, it was very loose. So a little, little bum about that, but... Again, oh, and that one too. I mean, they're all loose, I guess. But it's an easy fix, so I'm not I'm not too worried about that. I think all of them, yeah, I guess. Um, I try to move the hands as what it was, and when I grabbed it, they all kind of, but it's all right, no, no big deal, no big deal. The figure itself more than makes up with it. Face sculpt, great. He's got that nice, I mean, he's got what? He's got uh, the eyes there. That looks really good. I like the mutton chops that they gave him. And then the hair again, not too exaggerated. Uh, it's great. It's got a lot of details on it. And then this suit is great. It looks really good. I mean, it's not quite the tiger stripes, but it's the astonishing suit, which I, I kind of like it. And the painting on it is very decent. They did a good job on this figure. I mean, this figure looks great. The body, I mean, he looks great he looks like he just yanked right out of the cartoon or the comic book so um little few paint ups there again it, it could be from the packaging and stuff 
but here is actually not bad. But you know, it's not not uh, it's not, not noticeable. Uh, the X belt, it's great. The detail on the belt, and it's a it's a piece. It's not painted on. It's not, which is great. Yeah, man, that looks good. And then it comes with these shoulder things. And the good thing about it, it's like not attached. So it actually slides. So it will work better when you're doing posing and stuff. So it's not just there. It won't hinder anything at all. Uh, it does come with hair arms. And they finally got it right. They got the hairs going down into the little joint there, the elbow, and down. And instead of having that missed spot there, so they actually got it right when it comes to that. Especially, I mean, I hate it when they do the tattoos and then that piece is plain and then the tattoo continues in the forearm. It's just terrible. I mean, I'm glad that they detailed this. It's got some good, it's got some bicep. This Wolverine works out. Yeah, uh, I like the yellow there. It actually makes sense. Yeah, these claws are coming up, so I'm definitely going to have to glue these. But they are a lot more sturdier than others. Um, yeah, they're a lot better than others, so I'm okay with that. But definitely going to have to hold them in place there because they do come off easily. And yeah, I guess the paint ups are pretty good. And then, of course, it's got some really good articulation there. So this is going to be great for posing and stuff. Nice boots. The details on the boots is actually very nice. They integrated that yellow pieces like they did on the gloves there. Oh, it looks great. I mean, the yellow might be a little off, but I get it. They went over blue, so, you know, it's not going to be as bright. But it kind of works. I kind of like that darker yellow. Uh, nothing at the bottom. Just some, uh, I guess, a serial number for this, for the figure itself. But this is great. It's got these... Uh, funky looking uh, butterfly but you get some yeah see this piece you could just move it up oh yeah you, this is great yeah you are going to be able to get some great wolverine posing with this figure so yeah i mean huge fan of wolverine um this is gonna look great Again, let's see. Actually, let's see what he looks like. Yes, again, this figure is celebrating the 85 years of uh, Marvel. Man, that's a long time. Um, yeah, the, those butterflies are going to look very... Oh, that piece, let's just make it so it doesn't go too far back. Because then we got that gap there. Oh, uh, yeah, that's and the head movement. And, I mean, it's uh, it's typical for Wolverine, I guess, because of the thing. You really don't get a lot of, to the back, uh, but yeah, and it's okay to the front. I think yeah, it's gonna be the same thing with that. But yeah, this is actually uh, pretty good, man. I uh, man. Now I did have the X Men '97, and I ended up uh, actually selling it. And I know now it's like ridiculous because of the TV show. Um, but once I was able to secure this and uh, that I knew that I was gonna, I was going to get one of these, I just said, ah, this is this was actually better in my opinion. Might not agree with me, but I, I kind of like this version better. Um, and I think if I pretty much just gotten rid of mostly all the Wolverines. Um, yeah, I do have a lot of G.I. Joes and a lot of Batmans and Supermans and stuff. But when it comes to certain other figures, I just like to keep either one, maybe two of them. Um, again, I'm, I'm limited with space and stuff. And now that I'm actually getting into uh, vehicles that uh, after I said I wasn't going to, I'm going to need a little bit more room. So, But I'm only keeping the ones that I, I really, really like. And this one was on it. Um, I'm gonna, and this is the other, other Wolverine that I have at the moment. Um, I might have more, but uh, I don't want to feel like digging. And this is the closest that I found when I was uh, trying to find one to compare. And this is from the X-Men uh, 275 issue. Um, or oh, it was on the retro card. Uh, not on the three-pack like the rest of the other team. But yeah, it actually looks good. I actually like that. And again, this head sculpt is actually looks uh, good. Actually, I might use that head sculpt on this one. Because... It, 
no one's ever going to know because everything's covered up and it's not like he's showing any skin. So this is actually, yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah, not bad. The head might be a little big, but it looks, it looks, <laughs> it's not bad actually. So yeah, so from celebrating 85 years of Marvel, we're going to go to a figure and put them next to a figure that's come um, celebrating 60 years of the X-Men. And, well, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I should have uh, done it off. But, I mean, the height is actually pretty uh, decent. Kind of, the cartoons, I mean, it's Fred, Fred Dukes. I mean, the blob. I mean, that is, I didn't realize how big he is until you put him next to a Wolverine. And of course, from going from 85 years to Marvel to 60 years of the X-Men, and we, uh, you know, we, we cannot do a Wolverine comparison or unboxing if we don't put his pal, his nemesis, his brother, celebrating 50 years of Wolverine and that is Sabretooth again top three ex favorite X-Men um in my list uh Sabretooth uh, Wolverine and of course the Archangel um or Angel it's my favorites but that's my uh, my all-time favorites my at least my top three and again man he, he is actually this is gonna look good for you guys out there that are, I mean, I, I put a few photos here and there on Instagram, but the work that some of you guys do is incredible. And I know um, with this particular, and I've already seen some, and they're outstanding. So I might have to just steal a couple of poses. Um, but yeah, this Wolverine looks really good. I like the height differences between uh, these type of figures and stuff. Um, and it looks amazing. Another well done. I mean, there are times when... Um, Hasbro, uh, the Marvel Legends team, they knock it out of the park. I mean, they're, they're, they're getting it. And this is uh, no different. This particular Wolverine, they have nailed it. I mean, it looks great. They finally got the hair. <laughs> they even got the hair right. Um, the uniform looks good. The astonishing look. I mean, that whole, the whole thing, it's incredible. The details on it. I mean, the picture, The I mean, it's not quite the stripe. I mean, it's a variation of that striped suit. Um, a take basically but I love it it's great now this is finally found my definitive uh, Wolverine for my collection definitely keeper I don't know how they'll be able to top it I'm sure down the line as things get better and improve they might come up with something but so right now this is uh, it's a little bit hard to beat and with that I thank you all for tuning in as always if you haven't uh, subscribed please do is this your Wolverine or are you still X-Men 97? You don't know. Drop it down in the comments and let me know. And as always, always appreciate greatly your support. Continue to support each other. Continue to be a fine figure. I will see you later.